Today, we dive into the world of search algorithms, examining the mechanics of linear and binary searches and their efficiency. Let's start learning. Search algorithms provide a pathway to locate items with distinctive properties from a collection or data set, similar to a key that unlocks a treasure chest. The efficiency of this key, however, is paramount. An efficient key opens the chest swiftly, beneficial in situations where we must sift through extensive data sets. Consider this analogy, trying to find photosynthesis in a textbook. Without an index, each page would need examining. This echoes an inefficient search algorithm. Now imagine the book has an index that points directly to photosynthesis. This swift, effective process mimics a search algorithm, showcasing both its purpose and value. The key to understanding a linear search lies in its simplicity. In this method, each item in a data set is sequentially checked until a match is found, or all possibilities are exhausted. Consider the quest to find 9 in the array, 3, 7, 2, 9, 4. Beginning from the first element, 3, the algorithm moves sequentially, checking 7 and 2. When 9 is encountered, the search is halted. This basic operation is the essence of a linear search. Now let's turn our attention to its efficiency. Linear search operates with a time complexity of O n, indicating the amount of time it takes the algorithm to complete increases linearly with the input size. Searching an array of 10,000 elements, for instance, would require 10,000 operations. Although straightforward, linear search is primarily effective on smaller data sets as performance declines with data growth. Imagine having an all-knowing phone book. A search for Smith wouldn't start at Aaron, this phone book dives straight into the S section, having its workload. This exemplifies binary search, an algorithm that repeatedly divides a sorted list and discards the irrelevant half. Remember, for binary search to function effectively, the data set must be sorted. Now let's dissect its operational efficiency. Consider the sorted array 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. When searching for the number 7, binary search starts in the middle and voila! our target is found instantly. Though not always this immediate, binary search tends to locate elements much quicker than linear search with a time complexity of O log of N. Its real power emerges when dealing with large data sets, far outshining linear search's efficiency. These attributes cement binary search as a go-to tool for finding elements quickly in sorted collections. Time complexities of linear and binary search paint a clear picture of computational efficiency. Linear search comes with a time complexity of O of n, denoting a linear increase in time as the number of elements increases. Binary search, however, offers a time complexity of O log of n, meaning it halves the data set with each step. This logarithmic reduction ensures a quicker search, especially with larger sorted data sets. Practically deciding between these search methods takes into account data condition. Binary search operates on sorted data, crucial for its dividing and discarding approach. On the contrary, linear search poses no such prerequisites, making it suitable for any list, even unsorted ones. As an illustration, consider locating a specific name in an unsorted list. Linear search would be ideal. However, binary search is your ally when navigating through a larger sorted data set. This decision usually hinges on data size and its order. Be it for small, unordered data or large, sorted equivalents, choosing the correct search algorithm is key. Selecting the right search algorithm often boils down to whether your data set is sorted or unsorted. Take, for instance, linear search. It efficiently sifts through small, unsorted data, examining each item individually until it locates the match. When dealing with larger, sorted data sets, binary search reigns supreme. By systematically having its search space, binary search excels in swiftly locating the target within a sorted list. The decision matrix illustrates this. Small and unsorted data lean towards linear search. Large and sorted data, binary search comes into play. Let's apply this to a scenario. We're seeking the number 15th within a sizable sorted data set. Considering its size and sorted state, binary search would pinpoint 15th with far fewer operations than a linear search demonstrating the efficacy of matching our algorithm to our data conditions. Linear search embodies simplicity, examining each item serially until a match surfaces or possibilities wane. 
It operates efficiently on smaller data sets with a time complexity of ON. Binary search, its counterpart, essentially halves and discards irrelevant subsets of a sorted data set, leveraging its time complexity of O log of N for prompt findings in large lists. Picture how you'd spot encyclopedia in a dictionary. You'd commence at the midpoint, tweaking your range based on alphabetical standing. Both algorithms share the pursuit of accuracy, but their efficiencies diverge, underscoring the importance of employing the appropriate technique for the task at hand. Together, these methods furnish foundational concepts essential for mastering more intricate search algorithms. The choice of approach hinges on your dataset's size and order, factors crucial in optimizing time and effort.